Something is happening to me because I don't remember anything. I only remember Cece as a kid. Shall I call a doctor, your highness? Franz has been acting so strange lately. I'll give you your diary at our favorite place. Yes. What could be our favorite place? Franz actually asked advice from his butler. Hmm. I need you to find out why, and when you do, deal with it. Goodness, it was only a nightmare. You can't sleep? I dreamed I was evil. That's impossible, Cece. I don't know. Come in. Cece! The carriage taking us to Vienna is here. You're not ready yet? We have to leave before dawn to get there on time. Teodoro, you know, maybe we shouldn't. But why? Cece, I really want to meet Mr. Darwin. He knows about every animal. And all the plants, too. But... <sighs> okay, we'll go. But just for you. Uh, who is it? It's Philip, your highness. Why didn't you use the signal? I did, your highness. Never mind, Philip. It doesn't matter anymore. Forgive me, your highness, but I've done everything you've asked me to. Will Cece be going to the university to see Mr. Darwin? She will, and your mother is going to the reception. You'll give your speech to the students and teachers, but avoid Cece and your mother. That's right, Philip. But you've left out the fact that you're coming with me. Really, sir? I have a little plan. I'll sneak away to visit Dr. Crovas and ask him about my memory problem. Do you really think that the doctor will have a cure? I hope so. It is with great honor that we wish you a good start to the academic year. I'm afraid there's been a change, your highness. What change is that? Unbelievable. Franz has me speaking with the ladies in the garden, while he talks to the teachers with his new best friend, the butler. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You'd better find out why he's lurking around my son as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> they look so happy. They look as happy as I am with you. <sighs> Huh? Oh, Franz, I really need to speak to you today. I'm sorry. I just can't. Cece, we mustn't keep Mr. Darwin waiting. Can we try to be on time for once? Uh. Hmm. Hmm? Ah, Duchess Elizabeth. Or would you prefer your highness? Either way, I'm so grateful that you're here to greet me. Hello, Mr. Darwin. And you can call me Cece like everyone else. Did you see all these animals on your travels? Not all of them, I'm afraid. But I do know quite a lot about them, if you'd like to hear it. For real? Ah. I would love to hear about them. This is my brother, Teodoro. And this is Ilary, and a friend of ours. I must tell you that Teodoro's been looking forward to meeting you. Well, I'm honored. I shall do my best. This is the Barangay Gorilla, the largest primate known to exist. He lives in Africa, and it's best not to make him mad. I told you these are my bananas. And I say they're mine. Take them and leave. 
And this is the mandrill. The leader, or alpha male, is the strongest and most colorful, and gives orders to the whole group. Uh -uh. Loy, do as I say. Alpha, why are you always in charge? Because I say so. And these are the smallest monkeys in the world. They are called the Pygmy Marmoset, and they are quite mischievous. Kelly, did you like our trick? I never want to see any of you again! Fascinating! And that's not all. During my travels, I also saw some incredible carnivorous plants. Would you like to see them? I would love to! Hmm? <sighs> What's wrong, Cece? Are you still thinking about your nightmare? That's not it. Franz has been so formal and distant with me. Maybe he doesn't love me anymore. You're right, pal. I do have to act. Well, actually, that's not right. He says that Franz still loves you. Does he? And then there's Aunt Sophia, always angry. Try to be on time. Don't you think that Mandrel looks like a relative of Aunt Sophia? Imagine him on the throne of Austria. And these little ones could tickle Philip to death, while this large and angry gorilla tears down Franz's precious royal palace. gone and a group of chimpanzees want to attack. Loy, what do you think we should do? I don't know. Why don't you ask Alpha? Sammy, where are you? Mom will be mad. I know. I know I made a real mess. Oh? And now those monkeys are coming to Vienna. But how could I possibly have known the bracelet would be activated? Are you trying to tell me you think the bracelet always listens? We're wasting time while those monkeys are destroying Vienna! <laughs> Dr. Crovas, I was wondering if we might be able to speak for a moment. Emperor, I must say, your speech was very exciting. Oh, thank you. But there's much more than that I would like to talk about. It is Philip, my valet, and he has a memory problem. What? Are you saying he does not remember where he put his socks? No, he can't remember how he fell in love with the woman he married. Oh, Marcus. Huh? Have you heard it all from Petra? She seems to be missing. Did she not leave anything behind? Perhaps a clue? Mm-mm, mm-mm. We're all so worried, Johan, Grandmother. Did you see something? Oh. Uh, I asked Frau Marguerite, the owner of the inn. The woman you saw is Baroness von Tollet. She lives in Vienna. Bravo. Uh. Uh? Johan, even Marcus doesn't know where Petra is. I'm mad at Petra. And at those who helped her. Do you believe that someone helped her? She couldn't have done this all by herself. If I find out who helped her, I don't know what I'll do. Yeah. We have to send those animals back before it's too late. So, will it bite me? Don't worry, my dear. It only eats insects. Before I take my leave, do you need anything, Aunt Matilda? No, thank you. I'm fine.
Hello? Is that you, Grand Duchess Sophia? Well, your arms are certainly furry. Where should we start? Over there. I thought it was the Emperor's mother, but it turned out to be a horrible monster. Uh, Cece, this woman said she saw a monster. But it ran? Where? Look but... there! I thought it was a fur coat, but then it moved! <laughs> Look at all this cake. It's for you. <laughs> he ate the whole cake. And silly me, I thought I could eat a lot. I wouldn't sell yourself short on that one, Nut. Let's take care of you. I order you back to wherever by the power of the bracelet. Huh? Why isn't it working? Huh? Maybe there's another way you can make them disappear. How would you like to go to Posenhofen, big guy? No, I have to send them back this way. Does he remember where we are? What his name is? Or how old he is? Hmm. He remembers everything, Doctor. Every other detail. He only forgot the woman he loves. How long has he known this woman? Well, we do have five children, Doctor. Five children? Sir, I need you to get undressed. What? Once you do, I'll come examine you. Oh. Let's tickle him! <laughs> la, 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 I have to take my clothes off! Huh? I have to take my clothes huh? off! Ah. Philip, what's wrong? Oh. Oh. Uh. Huh? Hmm. Is it common for him to break down like this? Never, but I'll go and find him and bring him back to you, Doctor. Of course, Your Majesty. I'll remain here and wait for you. Where did those animals go? <laughs> oh, Philip, what's going on? Forgive me, Your Highness, but I can't stop. Oh, please don't let them get away. Uh-huh. Uh, come on! Uh. I got them. <laughs> we give up! Hold it! Hmm? Your Highness, isn't that your Philip, son's weight? And that's my son uh. with him. And here I thought all the strange things were in Africa. That's enough! I need you to be good and stay quiet while I try to figure out where our last missing friend over here might be. I find Philip's case particularly rare and interesting, and so I asked my esteemed colleagues to help. I hope that's not a problem, Your Highness. Oh, not at all. Whatever it takes, as long as they find a cure. To find a cure, we need to take a look inside and see what exactly is happening in this man's brain. I propose that we open his skull. Ugh. Huh? Your Highness, I'm frightened. If they try, I'll draw my sword while you run. Why are we going? Shouldn't we look for the gorilla? Don't worry, we will in a moment. In about three seconds, Franz will see the carriage and knock on the door. Then I'll know that he still thinks of me and loves me. Huh? Uh? Ludwig, it's you. I was looking for you and I saw your carriage. Where are you going? The royal palace, to stop a gorilla from destroying it. Huh? We 
you will not open the skull of this man. Whew. Phew. So let's rule out the possible causes of this amnesia. Mm -hmm. There was no fever, no fall, and no concussion. The only conclusion I can draw as to why he's forgotten this woman is that he does not love her anymore. Huh? Hey you, want a banana? His love for this woman is gone so his mind has simply cleared her from his memories. Unfortunately, this happens. We neglect the ones we love and forget to do the small things that help keep that love alive. And is there anything we can do to recover what's been lost? We should take time to stop and remember why we loved that person so much. Sometimes, the best way to do that is to look through the eyes of others, our friends, our families. Isn't that huh. Cece? What is that huh? gorilla doing here? Hmm. Isn't that Duchess Sophia? Ludwig, can you stay out here and watch? I won't let anyone in. You know you can count on me, Cece. I'm glad I know I can. <laughs> Happening. They're ready to go back home. Well, Nut, that's exactly what I plan to do. I command you to go back to where you came. Huh? Oh, uh, there's someone who wants to see you. Is it Franz? Oh dear, how are you, Mr. Darwin? I wanted to tell you it was such a pleasure meeting you. What's strange is that I could have sworn I saw a mandrill and a gorilla. I think perhaps you must have been seeing things. Mr. Darwin, before you go, what's the most important thing you learned on your travels? That you should never stop looking for the answers to your questions, and to accept them, whatever they are. Hmm? Callie? Huh? Where have you been? You wouldn't believe it. A place just full of humans. At first I was really angry, but then out of the blue sky the humans gave me a big bunch of bananas. These were everywhere. They call them sweets. Can we eat them? No. We'll use them to distract the chimpanzees if they attack. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But why are you always in charge? Because I say so. I like being the brother of an empress. I know Mr. Darwin, and I have guards. Uh, Teodoro, what were you and Franz talking about before? Nothing. It was nothing. Now you have to promise not to say anything to Cece about what we're talking about. Do you understand? I promise. Tell me, what is it you love about Cece? You mean besides the fact that she's my sister? Mm-hmm. She's nice, and always smiling and cheerful. We should take time to stop and remember why we loved that person so much. Sometimes, the best way to do that is to look through the eyes of others. She's generous and unpredictable. Cece and I have a favorite place. Do you know where it happens to be? Mm-hmm. It was that gazebo you gave her. <sighs> Leaving so soon, your highness. Uh, yes, Philip. I wish I could have been more help to you. Hmm. <laughs> You've done everything you could. Now I have to go it alone and tell Cece the truth, that I don't remember my love for her. Huh? So, Baroness, what have you found out about my son and Philip? I believe the old man has been sick in his head. Then why in the world would Franz take advice from him if he's supposedly sick? Baroness, there's a young woman who wishes to see huh? you who says she's related to you. That's odd. I distinctly remember you saying your daughter was your only living relative. Have we met before? Huh? Hmm. I don't know, but I think you know my grandmother Ida. 
Then why in the world did you say we're related? I'm afraid I need an explanation from you. Exactly what is it that you want from me? It's not what I want that's important, but what I have. I have information you might want about the magic bracelet. Huh? Shh. I know the person who possesses it. <laughs> Funny, but I know that too. But unfortunately, you do not know how to take it from them. Am I right? And you do? Baroness, I know a lot of things. And I can tell you of them, one thing at a time. <laughs> Aren't you cold? Uh? It's getting colder. Your mother wanted me to bring this out to you. Huh? Cece, where... Where is the bracelet? Don't worry, it's still there on my wrist. It's just that you can't see it. You see, Ludwig, only the animals and I can see it. It's magic to... To keep those who are looking for it from finding it to give you protection from your enemies. It looks like maybe I'll need protection from myself. What are you saying? I've always used the bracelet for good, but last night I had a dream. I was dark, evil, and I ordered ravens to attack Sophia and Franz as an act of revenge. Revenge? Has someone hurt you? Because if they have, I... Calm down. Aunt Sophia is always criticizing me, and I feel like Franz may be starting to neglect me. I'm sorry, Cece, but it was just a nightmare, nothing more. But even today, I summoned those animals to cause mischief and even destroy Hofburg. But it didn't happen, did it? We both know you were able to stop it in time. And what if that gorilla had hurt someone? It would have been my fault. Everyone would have blamed me. I would have been just like that girl in the book. I won't ever let that happen. You've always been good to me, Ludwig. Whenever I've needed help, you've always been there. Like I promised, remember? You can always count on me. Even with Franz, you're still there. Is it because I'm in love with him and not you? Uh-huh. And because you love Elodie and not me, right? I was in love with you, Cece. Uh? I loved you. Desperately, silently, I accepted your friendship, waiting and hoping that you would feel the same for me, but then you gave your heart to Franz. Why are you just telling me this now? I never thought I would get to. Explaining a love like that isn't always easy. Sometimes it requires patience or sacrifice. If you really love Franz, you know how this feels. That's what keeps you fighting for him. So, you lied. I need you to leave, Ludwig. Because I didn't tell you I was in love with you? Because you kept a secret from me. I was afraid of this. If you had the courage to take risks, you could have told me the whole truth. Go away. As you wish. But one last thing. If keeping a secret is the same as lying, then you've been doing the same thing to Franz. Why have you never told him about the bracelet? Wow, humans are really complicated. Just go away. I want to be alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Franz, not you. I love seeing you. I enjoy it too. Franz, today someone told me you should never stop looking for the answers to your question. And to just accept whatever they may be. And what exactly is your question, Cece? Do you still love me, Franz? That's what I'm trying to figure out, Cece. Huh? 